His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Gulabiya Palace today the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of Bahraini-U.S. strategic relations and its continuous development in all fields in general and in particular the political and economic fields. He highlighted the outcomes of the GCC-U.S. summit recently held in Camp David which discussed regional and international issues confirming the necessity of protecting the region from attention and the reinforcement of its security and stability. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for meeting him, commending his keenness to further strengthen bilateral relations. In compliance with the directive of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and with support from His Majesty the King's representative for charity works and youth affairs and chairman of the board of trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the second batch of aid from the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Nepalese people comprising relief, medical supplies and tents was dispatched to the quake-stricken country. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that this humanitarian assistance comes in implementation of the royal directives of His Majesty the King, emanating from the humane bonds binding Bahrain with various peoples of the world and in reaffirmation of the ties of friendship between Bahrain and Nepal. Secretary General of RCO Dr. Mustafa Sayyid said, as a direct result of the Bahraini delegation's first visit, the dire need to provide and extend a helping hand was identified. The second shipment was shipped, which comprises of approximately 50 tons of emergency medical and relief supplies as well as tents. The reaction we had for our campaign has been fantastic. I'm very happy to be here uh, looking or inspecting the final products that will go to Nepal in the presence of the Nepalese uh, ambassador and a number of our fine supporters uh, with two of my young heroes whom you interviewed who contributed to saving of thousands of dinar plus uh, uh, more than four uh, tons of goods uh, uh, I inspected the stuff that's going it includes generators about 30 which is of paramount importance because they have shortage of electricity or no electricity in villages and different areas. So these will help in the field hospitals, plus most of the homes have been damaged and we have hundreds of tents here which will provide accommodation both for uh, people to live in and also for emergency hospitals. Yeah. I think it was in your office. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today the Ambassador of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik al Sheikh. His Highness hailed the tremendous efforts exerted by the Ambassador to strengthen historic and brotherly relations between the two countries, commending the deep rooted ties that are constantly developing in all fields. He confirmed the Kingdom's keenness to reinforce relations for the best interests of both countries and people in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser, highlighting the depth of Bahraini-Saudi relations. He also commended the great role of Sheikh Nasser in supporting charity and humanitarian work around the globe in addition to his support for the youth and sports movement in the kingdom.
first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and His Majesty the King's personal representatives for charity work and youth affairs on the occasion of Bahrain winning the Mixed Martial Arts Championship Desert Force 17 by Bahraini fighter Hamza Kohaji. His Highness highlighted His Majesty the King's remarkable care to the youth and sports sector in the kingdom and hailed his majesty's keenness to further develop this field his highness hailed the directives of his highness sheikh nasser which aims to further develop the sports and youth sector through the plans and strategies adopted by the supreme council for youth and sports and bahrain olympic committee his highness sheikh khalid extended his congratulations to the winner of the championship and thanked the organizing committee for its outstanding organization of the tournament First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at his residence in the Jordanian capital Amman, the Desert Force Executive Director, Zaid Mirza. Mr. Mirza presented His Highness with the trophy of the Mixed Martial Arts Championship Desert Force 17, which was held in Amman under the patronage of His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan. His Highness Sheikh Khalid discussed with the Desert Force Executive Director ways to further develop mixed martial arts in the region and stress the importance of supporting this field of sports which attracts large youth participation. His Highness expressed his thanks for the outstanding organization of the championship by Desert Force and expressed his appreciation for all efforts to further support mixed martial arts in the region. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired the Council's weekly meeting today, in which the Council reviewed letters received from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the approval of an agreement made between the Kingdom and Tajikistan regarding the avoidance of double taxation and the prevention of fiscal evasion, as well as a project by law regarding the encouragement of investments between the two countries. The Representatives Council discussed the government's policy regarding the withdrawal of the meat subsidy, as well as approving the report of the Services Committee regarding public health. The report has been referred to the Shura Council. <laughs> 